What's up, everyone? Jason Gilbo here at JGilbo11, getting a jump start on tomorrow, Saturday's main slate. Uh, looking for some GBP bats, uh, some good areas to find some offense. Um, we did get the Washington game pushed back again. We had Nick Pavetta on the hill against Tanner Rourke. Uh, Pavetta, average right-hander at best, um, going up against one of the hottest offenses in the league. Washington with a near five-run total here early on. Uh, you can definitely fire away here. They are expensive. They're a good, expensive team to fire away and kind of edge yourself against cores. Uh, you look at Pavetta, uh, has struggled. Um, minor leagues, he's been up and down. Um, not a, a right-handed I'll be shying away from by far. Um on the other side of that one, not really looking to attack Tanner Rourke, but uh, if you're looking to kind of get weird and get some contrarian action, uh, San Diego going up against Dylan Kobe. Uh, San Diego has a five-run total there in U.S. Cellular. They get the DH in play. Um, you look at Kobe, I mean, uh, he's been certainly bad uh, and has been bad against both sides of the plate. Uh, 342 Woba to lefties, 1.23 home runs per nine. Uh, righties, uh, five. 36 Woba, 42% hard contact. He's given up five home runs in 10.1 innings. Uh, sign me up for some Will Myers. Sign me up for some Margot. Uh, even the Schimpf, Solarte, uh, Spangenberg if he's up there. I mean, I, I don't mind going that way. Um, I'll definitely be firing away with these bats. Austin Hedges, uh, one through six. I mean, all fairly moder moderately priced. Uh, especially Will Myers on DraftKings, 4200 uh, I'll take that all day, and these bats are, are priced down on DK. So uh, I'll be firing away. Um, for the most part, Myers is your normal price on FanDuel, but uh, definitely has some potential there. Uh, Miller Park, I'll definitely take an eye on some bats on both sides. Uh, looking at Zach Davies, this is a guy who um, fairly average against lefties, uh, four home runs all out already this year. Um Hard contact, fairly average, 337 will be allowed over the larger sample size. Uh, has not been very good. Uh, once again, Conforto as Dribble Cabrera, Jay Bruce, uh, Neil Walker, I certainly don't mind. All reasonably priced on both sites. Um, good bump there in terms of park factors. Uh, Miller Park friendly for both lefty and righty power. Uh, on the other side, uh, look at Selman's been, been a little bit roughed up here. Um, hasn't exactly been all that bad. Um, in terms of against lefties, but uh, 321 Woba to lefties. Um, righties, he's been hit pretty hard with 424 Woba. Uh, this season has already allowed four home runs. Um, you know, pitches really aren't doing what they're supposed to with him. Uh, Jeb Bandy, if he's in the lineup, I mean, with Ryan Braun out, you're going to see Hernan Perez, Domingo Santana, Keon Broxton all make up that, that uh, outfield there for Milwaukee. Uh, I'll certainly be firing away with some of these Milwaukee bats, even Thames and Villar still from the left side. Um, I, I don't mind there. Uh, so they do have some appeal for me. Uh, that game's a good one to target. Oakland, Texas, uh, it, it's it's been a little scoring to start this, this series. It's been a little bit disappointing. Uh, once again, though, I mean, both run totals over five. Good ballpark here to hit in. Uh, two weaker arms. Sonny Gray hasn't quite shown uh, what he could be. Nick Martinez, we, we like him as well to just kind of target away with. Um, so overall, man, I, it, it's looking at him. I mean, I, I just got to go back to the well here. I mean, I can understand if you want to look elsewhere, um, but it might keep the ownership down a little bit more. Uh, you look at Gray, I mean, he struggled against lefties. He struggled against both sides of the plate. Uh, and these bats are cheap. You know, Chu, Mazzara, Gomez, Adore, Lucre, Napoli. I mean, I don't mind. Um, and even with the A side uh, against Nick Martinez, who you can fire away with. So, um, you know, I, I'll definitely be going that route uh, and looking at at some of these A's bats of Alonzo, Chris Davis, even Jed Lowry, Ryan Healy. Uh, there's a ton of upside with these guys. So um, might get the ownership down because it's been a couple of tough days for them, but uh, definitely in good spots. Arizona, Pittsburgh, uh, Taiwan Walker, interesting guy you might want to look at is maybe Gregory Polanco from the left side. Um, Walker has had some home run issues with lefties over the larger sample size. It's not been bad this year. I like Walker as a GPP bat. Uh, Vegas is, is liking the Pirates offense, but I would not be surprised to see that come down uh, in terms of an implied total over the next uh, hours or so. 
Um, going back to the well here with the Diamondbacks, big night. I mean, at the moment, they're at 11 runs. Um, so I'll definitely be looking to go that way. Uh, once again, uh, it's top five and they got 11. So firing away with a stack, uh, firing away with these these uh, Diamondbacks bats against Trevor Williams, Pollock, Peralta, Goldschmidt, Lamb, uh, definitely be, be looking there. As far as other guys go, uh, you got your normal cores, uh, Alex Wood, Tyler Anderson. Um, you can look at the right-handers in this one, but obviously this is still a game where, you know, don't be afraid to shy away and go elsewhere. Um, of course, it's always going to drive some decent ownership. Um, Anderson, uh, Dodgers are not good against lefties. Anderson, I guess a sneaky GP play play, if you want to call it that. Um, Alex Wood, certainly capable of getting through maybe a modest outing. Um, so, won't be surprised to not see one of those maybe six, five, seven, six games with kind of just weaker bottom half guys or something here and there. So there's definitely other options you can go with and other run tools that are, that are really high. Uh, last game I'll talk about here, Angels and Tigers and Ricky Nolasco, Daniel Norris. Um, with J.D. Martinez back in the lineup, Miguel Cabrera, Justin Upton, all really cheaply priced against Nolasco, who obviously I, I don't have no problem firing away with. Um, 398, what with to right? He's 39% hard contact. Uh, usually, I'm not a big fan of just stacking away in this game, but I like a tiger stack um, in this ballpark. It, it's a little bit tough. It should be a little bit under owned um, and could be a little bit contrarian here. So, against Alaska, who struggled, uh, I'll definitely be looking that way. Uh, Daniel Norris is, is pitching for the, the Tigers. Um, the Angels just don't have any GPP appeal for me. I mean, I get Pujols or Trout. Um, Jeffrey Marte is a guy you can maybe look at. But uh, once again, the slate's full enough. I just, I'm not a big Angels guy. So uh, let's grab things up for me. You can head to NordayFantasyCafe.com for our great tools and content.